Hello there everybody, Peter of England here. Um, I haven't posted for maybe one year now on YouTube, um, but today uh, we have some very, very important and significant information for removement members and members of Weir Bank. So this is a political message. Uh, it's a political message though with very, very substantial financial implications to all people who are listening to this. Um, it concerns several topics, which I'm going to cover hopefully within the next five or seven minutes. Uh, it's the proof of the global collateral accounts. It's the proof of an express trust. And for those uh, residents of the United Kingdom, it's a proof that 650 members of Parliament have been uh, renegade in the, the treatment of this trust. And therefore, there are certain remedies now that are coming out and being made available to you thanks to work that has been done not only in the UK, but also uh, in the United States of America. So this conspiracy to, um, should we say, financially encumber you is being overseen by the United Kingdom Judiciary and also by the HM Courts, uh, Majesty's Courts uh, and Tribunal System. So the bottom line on this video today is that we are going to show you a way to cancel your mortgage. That's the nature of it, cancelling your mortgage. Now, Weir Bank is involved with this, and also uh, an organisation called Freeman Legal Services. Um, I will put links to uh, both Freeman Legal Services, uh, Weir Bank, the International Association of Private Bankers, and also to the International Common Law Court of Record uh, at the end of the, of the video, or in the, in the subtitles at, at the bottom. So, this is a continuation of the debt assumption service that was originally offered to Weir Bank members in 2015. We're going to highlight now some major and recent developments, and these have come out of uh, the United Kingdom and the United States. In the United Kingdom, uh, from the University of Southampton, a professor, uh, Dr. Richard Werner, has recently put some very, very interesting material together, and part of it is, to, one of his uh, PDFs, which is available on the internet, is today's source of money creation. Um, and what we have to therefore show you is that there is a massive and systematic mortgage fraud, a, uh, a lending misappropriation, and a non-conforming with something called uh, GAAP, which is what's called the Generally Accepted uh, Accountancy Procedures and Practices. So why this is significant, is significant to you is that what we are going to show you is a way of achieving something called quiet title. Uh, quiet title is exactly what it says, uh, and it involves a, uh, a more, should we say, selected, a more professional, and a more one-on-one -on -one negotiation procedure with the mortgagee, that's the lender, so-called, than is, is customary uh, if you're trying to resolve uh, a dispute in, in any other way, by maybe approaching the financial ombudsman or going to see the FCA or, or, or arguing it through the courts. So, the United States uh, is lending some support here by two major, uh, major arms. Um, one is the United States Department of Justice, which is having a major overhaul, um, but what does that mean to you? Well, the President of the United States, the present incumbent of that office, uh, Donald Trump, is just about to try and do, and in fact it looks like he's going to succeed this time, in doing something that John Kennedy failed to do in 1961-1962, and that is to take over and take control of the Federal Reserve. Uh, why that is significant, significant to you is because of the system of money supply, monetary control, and a, a wave of, uh, should we say, uh, hope for the future that the banking and finance and economic practices that are the status quo of your financial and debt enslavement can be changed. What this is, in effect, meaning is that with the Federal Reserve Board of Governors, there has to be seven governors on board. At the moment, there are only three one of which Donald Trump um, has appointed. So there are four places for him to appoint, and so it would appear that in very, very uh, short order that he is going to be politically in control of the, the Federal Reserve. 
Uh, if you want to have a confirmation of that, go on to uh, any of the major media networks, uh, mainstream media, MSM, and have a look under uh, Trump to take control of the, the Fed. Now, why that's important is it's born out on the back of another uh, very, very um, intricate and very well put together piece of work by Richard Werner from the uh, University of Southampton in the United Kingdom, and that's concerning banking practices. Now, uh, there's a very big secret, therefore, that's out there that Weir Bank has been trying to tell you since it was first launched in 2015, and that is, in effect, that you are the creditor, not the debtor, on the mortgage contract. This is as provable as 1 plus 1 equaling 2. And if that is correct, if that is true, that means there has been a massive criminal fraud uh, perpetrated on you under the 1968 Theft Act, which is subsumed into the Fraud Act of 2006, which is in effect obtaining pecuniary advantage by deception. Uh, bear in mind also, no matter how long your mortgage goes back, and even if you've paid it off, there is no statute of limitations on fraud. So what we're looking for here is that the banks have been involved in fraudulent misrepresentation and fraud pure uh, on, on the mortgage contract. What in effect has happened is you provided them with a futures contract which they then sold on and they gave you back the value. Now just very quickly read a part of what um, Richard Werner said at the Monetary Institute conference fairly recently in April at the Gottlieb Duttweiler Institute. It says at 2.59 on the video, if you look up Richard Werner, today's source of money creation, the unknown legal realities of the banking business, banks don't take deposits, banks do not lend money. Banks do not take deposits, they borrow from the public. This is also confirmed in the 2014 uh, first quarterly report from the Bank of England, which is entitled uh, Money Mechanics in the Modern Economy. So, this is confirmation that you have been duped and that you have not had within a contract which is called Uberime Fide, of utmost good faith, you have not had the terms and conditions fully explained to you, which makes the contract null and void. So, what we're looking at then is a way of expo exposing this criminal fraud and how we're going to do it is by asking you now to approach Weir Bank and Freeman Legal Services and we will then orchestrate a way for you to cancel your mortgage. Now, why you need to come to us is that no one else is offering this kind of service. You have two choices if you're in mortgage difficulties or if you're in pro having problems through bailiffs pressurising you to make payments on credit, um, credit loans and agreements higher purchase agreements, etc. We're concentrating on mortgage payments for now because they are the most uh, erroneous and most uh, uh, burdensome uh, monthly payments that any family or individual has to make. So that's what we're targeting first. We're offering this to, as I say, uh, we're bank members who are members of Removement, that is the political arm. So this is a political message and a political stance above all else. So. How are we going to do it in a nutshell, but all this will be explained further and fully when you contact us. Um, and for those who want to contact us before, um, before any uh, additional links are put up, if you wish to uh, send an email, uh, just citing cancel mortgage, uh, that's to admin1, that's the one numeral, at freemanlegalservices.com. That's admin1 numeral one, at freemanlegalservices.com. So what we're going to show you uh, uh, is a way through the, the banking uh, uh, maze that's been deliberately wound around you to amaze you and confuse you. Uh, first of all, the parts of this are we're going to change your status. You have to change your status before you can make any progression within the court system or the banking system. That's not new to a lot of people. But there are two major ways and two major planks that this is tied into. And one of them is a little known secret coming out of what's called the Bank Charter Act of 1844. Tied in with the Gold Standard Amendment Act 
of 1931 tied into a method of changing your position and creating what's called the status of a private banker under the Bills of Exchange Act 1888 and also the 1988 um, United Nations Convention on International Bills of Exchange and International Promissory Notes called UNCITRAL whereby you become a private banker and you can move in a different field and a different format. The second uh, linkage, so that's one with subparts A, B, C that I've just outlined. The second one is the role of the Bank of England within the square mile. And it's called the square mile because it's a Freemasonic uh, enclave, um, a protectorate, um, just the same as Monaco, Andorra, Liechtenstein, and the Vatican. So, with the information that we have there, we then show you that there are two types of money. There are notes and there are coins. We're saying no more than that now. So what I do to, what I'd like to ask you to do now is have a look at the links under the video. Uh, obviously press the subscribe button so you stay updated on further postings and get in touch with us at the links that are shown uh, below this video and then we will then contact you and show you what to do next. So it's time to retake your country, it's time to retake your home, which is part of your country, and now as a political movement and a political honour gesture to all members of uh, Removement and We Are Bank, we're going to start showing you how to do it. Thank you, Peter of England signing off for now.